Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Lenore Von Stein, and this is yet another episode of The Facts. Uh, and today we're, we have, we're, have a discussion episode. You know, The Facts is music, some episodes stories with music, and some episodes talking to interesting people. And so this is one of the interesting people one. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm talking to Baz Dreisinger, who is... Baz, a, actually. Baz, Baz. <laughs> I, I've been working on this Common name. mistake, it's okay. <laughs> and uh, Boz is a, a, a professor of English at John Jay College of, for Criminal Justice, which is actually across the street from where we're filming this. And uh, she also uh, is the writer of a, a book called uh, Incarceration Nations. Um, and uh, so w what we're gonna talk about today is, is justice or law and why laws exist and why some crimes are crimes sometimes and not crimes other times and the results of treating people in in whatever ways you treat them when they've been they've committed these crimes or you think there's enough evidence to mm -hmm. uh, claim that they've committed these crimes so uh, can I, I uh, why do some things change right some things are crimes and some things are not crimes given a society, I mean, some of this is quite evident. Is there some way that you could help fill in on this? Sure, no, I think it's so important to ask these questions because the fact of the matter is most people don't and take a lot of these very basic concepts of justice for granted. But I think for one, um, it's about distinguishing between, between legal and moral. And again, that's a distinction most people don't think about, but there are lots of things that we might say are legal that are not moral and vice versa. And I think societies historically have defined those things in different ways and also have sometimes made legal and moral the same thing, perhaps in a religious governed society mm -hmm. um, and have sometimes separated those things. So, I mean, adultery is a, is a classic example. Is that a crime? No, not necessarily, although in some countries it still is as a result of the uh, religious moral codes that many of these countries some come from. Some professions it is too, right? That is true, yeah. Um, but that's, I think, a perfect example of that. A, a crime like murder has always been unequivocally wrong across the board and uh, and yet, at the same time, there are even subcategories of murder, depending on the society, an honor killing, for instance, versus a wanton act of murder. Um, but murder is definitely one of those categories where moral and legal have tend to, tended to conflate. So um, I think it's a really complicated question that takes us across history, takes us across nationalities. I mean, for, for my book, I spent a lot of time in, in different countries, prison systems, um, and so you realize that it's not the same country to country. Uh, drugs is another really good example of that. Many drugs have not been uh, considered illegal until certain times and places, and usually that conflates with issues around uh, race and oppression. Opioids, for instance, and the Chinese population in, in Singapore and uh -huh. in, in the U.S., um, we can certainly see that around crack in the US, how it was criminalized as a result of it being defined as a black drug and thus used as another form of oppression and racism. So drugs is definitely a place where, we're, where we see things um, shift from era and also shift from context and, and nationality.